Thank you for joining me. My name is Gabriel Flores, also known as the one, the only, maybe Lee. Today is like all the other days where we're coming together here to listen to me uh, talk about my personal stuff. And me trying to go a little bit further above and beyond that and doing research and coupling it, well, more accurately, coupling my personal stuff with stuff that I've learned from the world, that I see in the world, and just another idea, just putting it together with another idea that's not the same. So I'm talking about something that's related to me and I'm putting it together with another idea <clears throat> and doing that. A different one each time I pre-planned all of the shows all of the episodes 42 or something like that um, each morning I go through and I write the thesis uh, or what I think is a I'm not quite sure how to do a thesis anymore but I I'm doing my best to get as close to a thesis as possible as it relates to the topic that I'm talking about in my life I write a thesis based on that And then um, I go through and I look at the other topic and just kind of review what I'm going to talk about with the other topic. Just review at that time what I'm going to talk about is what I did this morning. And, um, and then we record every day at 4, 17 minutes, episodes. Um, we're going to have a, a finale. The finale is longer than normal. Uh, because I wanted to, it's the pinnacle of this talk show, so it's going to be more than one episode, and it's going to be really interesting, so guys, check it out, uh, make sure you're coming back, uh, look at my other episodes, if you haven't looked at my other episodes, um, I think they're pretty cool, you know, there's, they're not perfect, um, they can use some work, uh, but this is just the, the beginning, uh, I plan on doing this for as long as it takes to get it perfect. If perfection is possible, that's what I'm trying to attain, and then I'll go into something else. If not, then I'll just keep doing it. Either way, uh, my meal plan is is set for the rest of my life, as far as I can see. So, and that's that's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid assumption that I have. So, anyways, um, some of my favorite movies are mutually shared by close people in my life, which is why we watch them together a lot. Um, basically, what I'm talking about, uh, some of my favorite movies, um, I found by myself, but other movies, I've had the rare opportunity to be able to share that same level of enjoyment with somebody else. And in one case, it was my wife. In another case, it was my best friend from my childhood. And so I think it's really cool and special when you can share um, that level of intelligence, intellectual thing with another person that you know they understand um, the exact thing that you're laughing about, that you're understanding in the movie and stuff like that. I think it's like really rare to find that. It, um, that's what I'm looking for in life, um, whether it's with um, my wife, my girlfriend, a friend, a relative, mother, sister. I'm looking for that level of connection um, and I prefer that level of connection over, say, fighting or, like, arguing or something like that. Um, I prefer, you know, like, that type of connection. Some people prefer fighting or arguing. Some people are good at it. Some people are always fighting. And uh, But not me. I, I, like to, I like to do fun stuff and cool stuff, and this is one of those things. Um, let me give you an example of... Uh, one of my favorite movies, Cheech and Chong. I let me set the stage for you. You know, I'm in West Valley City, Utah. My best friend uh, Rigo is 
living with us for the summer. He had asked his mom if he could come stay with us over the school break because me and him were close and he wanted to be closer to me and I wanted him to uh, come live with us too. School was out. We wanted to take advantage of hanging out, being able to hang out. And so he's staying with us for the summer. Um, and you know, it's a lot of time, so it's hard to describe. I can tell the place it's in our house and, um, we're in the living room, which is, um, the way the house is situated. You walk in, well, you go up a set of stairs and you're in a initial di a living room type place. And then you keep walking in on that level and you're in the kitchen and you go down a set of stairs and here's another living room. And here is where we would watch uh, Cheech and Chong. Um, at various times, you know, sometimes it'd be in the morning or at night or during the middle of the day. Uh, but that's where we would watch it at together. And we'd usually smoke some weed together before. And then we'd go watch Cheech and Chong. And um, Friday was another one we would always watch. There's so many times that we would watch it that not really one moment sticks out to me. I just know. Um, and, you know, I can't even picture the us sitting next to each other. I can't picture it. I can't see it. Um, I can't remember him saying anything particular to me or me saying anything particular to him. I don't remember where, what we were wearing. I don't remember what direction we were facing. I just know that I just know it. I just, from my memory. So that's the tricky thing about memory is sometimes you can actually see the scene in some memories and some memories you just know that you remember you remember and you know the way that you're remembering is you know but you don't remember the details which one is superior you don't know there's you can't say um, that this memory is superior over the other one but personally i wish i remembered more details like i rem i wish i remembered you know him saying this is my favorite part of the movie or this is or something like that. I, I wish I remembered something like that when it comes to special moments like that. Um, let me set the stage for you again. For um, And we watched it a lot. I would say, you know, I could easily say a dozen times. We watched it together a dozen times. Um, and so it's cool when you have it mutually shared by other people that, you know, your favorite things are mutually shared. <laughs> So it's kind of cool. Um, uh, <laughs> I was thinking about tug of war. Uh, sometimes when you share things with other people, it feels like tug of, tug of war. But this didn't feel like tug of war. Uh, maybe it should have, you know, to be a little bit more fair, um, you know. But when you're young and you don't know those things, so there is a level of, there with growth and age there is some kind of understanding and then also you got to take into account memory too so it's really hard it's really hard and then uh um another moment is i'm married about a decade into the future 2500 miles away and a house situated just off side of the beach of the uh, Atlantic Ocean, which is on the east coast of the uh, continental United States. Uh, married, I'm in the United States Navy. And um, me and my wife are watching our favorite movie, Rush Hour 2. <laughs> and we love Rush Hour 2, man. I can't tell you how many times we watched Rush Hour 2 together. And again... You know, the same kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe, you know, um, the reason, you know, these two memories are similar. So it makes sense that my recollection of these memories are pretty similar. Because in this case, when we're, I, I can give you where we're at, the house. In this case, it's the layout is different. It's a one, it's a r rambler. It's a rambler. It's not a traditional Rambler, though, from what I know Rambler to be, which is longer in length. This is more of a square-like Rambler. 
and it's in a totally different state from where I first saw a rambler. So is it still a rambler? Um, I don't know, but it's one level. And where we would walk, uh, you walk in the front door. Here's the front door right here. And right here to the left is the living room. Uh, that's one place that we would have watched it. Uh, but then you go back here, back here. Here's a, you go through a little hall right away. Right over here is my office over here. Over here is our, my stepson's bedroom um, with his TV, his own TV, his own Xbox, his own DVD, and his own games, his own Xbox games, his own DVDs and bedroom and stuff like that. And uh, you come out and you go down this way, though, in the hall in the opposite direction is our bedroom. Uh, where I don't remember if we had a TV in there or not, but that's another place we would have watched it laying on the bed or sitting on the couch in the living room. Um, and uh, we watched it a lot of times. I'm trying to think if we if I can remember. I, I wish again, you know, even though we're not uh, married anymore, those memories, I still find those memories important to me i think they're still way important memories to have um, and i still um she's still um, important to me um, just like anybody that um, comes into my path is important to me she's important too um and so those memories are important and i wish i had more memories of it but we watched Rush Hour 2 so many times. Um, oh, yeah, one of our favorite parts together um, was um, where Chris Tucker is singing in the... Uh, he starts singing in the in, in, in uh, China in the karaoke bar, or in the bar where they're doing karaoke, he starts singing. That's one of our favorite parts. We laughed so hard together on that one. Uh, but talking a little bit more about the actors, you know, Chris Tucker, I first saw him um, from Friday, the first Friday. Um, I was disappointed, but happy at the same time that he didn't go into the other Fridays because around the time the other Fridays came out, I was starting to clean up my act and starting to try to live a better life. I was starting to live a completely different path. And so I was happy, but looking back, I wish he would have stayed in the other uh, Fridays because he was so funny in the first one it just didn't make sense that he didn't perform in the other Fridays and I didn't look down on him for not doing that or I didn't hate him because later on in Friday or in Rush Hour 2 in Rush Hour 3 and Rush Hour 1 I loved him in those movies um, I haven't really seen him in any other movies that are notable though and but Jackie Chan another actor he's in Rush Hour 2 um, he has a lot of good movies that I really like, um, such as, uh, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Night, um, are both good. Those are similar to Analyze This and Analyze That with, uh, Robert De Niro, um, in those. And, um, Jackie Chan is, he's similar to Bruce Lee because he's a Kung Fu cat. And um, he's still making flicks today because I've seen reading around as I'm cruising around um, town <laughs> on the internet. I see um, his name pop up on different um, movies and stuff, other movies, more movies. So I've seen him do more stuff. Unlike Chris Tucker, I haven't seen after Rush Hour 3, I haven't seen his his name anywhere um, you know, going back to my childhood best friend era when we were watching Cheech and Chong, uh, Tommy Chong is his name. Um, I saw him on, uh, what was the name of it? I saw him on the internet on YouTube. He was on a, they did an interview with him on YouTube, and it was pretty cool um, seeing him. He's entertaining to watch. He was uh, talking about a new business venture that he was going into in marijuana, uh, selling different types of marijuana and performing at the, not performing, but showcasing his, 
is uh, showcasing his products at the when they have the kind of cannabis conventions. I can't remember what they call them, but he was talking about doing that. And I was really entertained by his interview that I ended up watching more of the, what is it, Hot Eats or Hot, hot Eats, Hot Wings, Hot Eats. Um, I'm not going to try to tell you too much about where I saw the interview, but it was on YouTube. Um, just um, Google, or, uh, type in his name on YouTube and you'll be able to, you'll see it. It'll probably be one of the first ones to pop up. Because it's pretty recent. So he was doing pretty good. Uh, Cheech. I, I don't know. I haven't seen him in, in anything. After uh, Up in Smoke. Um, that was what I forgot to tell you. With my childhood friend. The one we used to watch was Up in Smoke. That was our. Cheech and Chong has. There's different ones. But Up in Smoke was our favorite one. Uh, after you know, after watching those, I haven't really seen Cheech around in anything. Um, so yeah, those that's my story about some of my favorite movies. I hope you guys can uh, think back and remember some of your... Uh, what does it mean, you know, to be able to have these memories of things you've done? I hope it's more than something negative. I hope it has an... Uh, overall or arching meaning with like God and an afterlife and maybe a new life after death or something that it has something to do with that. Um, I hope so. But uh, until then, see you later, guys. Mm -hmm.